Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today I'm sharing my favorite gnome shoe base. If you'd like to make them, just stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me and speaking of crafting, we are making these. Well, technically we're making the base. They belong to this big guy. I'll show you him later. So in order to get started, we are going to prepare our surface by putting down protective silicone mat. I'm using a dust mask, measuring cups, a spoon, a spork, a bowl, plaster of Paris, and everyone keeps asking me to use these Dollar Tree booties for everything, so I'm going to use them as well. I'm also going to use pencils or dowels if you have those. I prefer the 12 inch. And then I'm also going to fast forward to the future. See, my mix is already made up, and I'm going to show you my favorite way of making shoes that are sturdy enough for an up to 16 inch gnome. It really adds a lot of weight to styrofoam or pool noodles. All right, so to get started, we're gonna put on our protective mask. We're gonna add one quarter cup of water to the bowl and then top it without stirring with a half a cup of plaster. Just let that sit to the side. We're going to prepare our little booties and my favorite thing, the soap mold. So we're going to make them the same way. We're just gonna add a little hot glue into the uh, or onto the eraser or the bottom of the dowel. Then we're gonna add hot glue just back of center in the shoe booty or in the mold. And the reason we're doing that is twofold. Number one, it looks more natural. And number two, it's gonna add more weight to the front, which is what we need. All right, so you're not really going to stir this. You're more going to fold it in like a macaron batter because you want plaster not to have air bubbles. And so I'm just going to use my spork, sort of like the back of my spork. <laughs> I just like to say the word spork. Fork. And anyway, I'm going to now prepare my soap mold here. I will link this down below. It is actually cut in half. I've been doing these since mid last year and I've come up with a system that works for me. I just cut this mold in half. It gives me three sets at a time and I can do another one separately. All right, so once we have everything prepared, we're just gonna spoon this stuff into our baby booties. Now I will tell you, I'm gonna show you an, um, pool noodle gnome that I made with baby booties and rocks. And I have to tell you, I don't think this made one bit of difference. I have my food scale downstairs and as soon as my craft room is no longer under construction, I am actually going to put all of these onto the food scale to see what the weight difference, difference is. Um, but I'm going to tell you hands down, the plaster of Paris into the soap mold is my favorite way of making a very solid shoe. I don't have to DIY anything. I don't have to grab recyclables or Easter eggs or anything. Those are all wonderful ways to make shoes and I still do them. But this is if you need a solid shoe that you'd like to decorate either as a shoe or as a boot. All right, so you can see here, um, my plaster of Paris is empty. I'm going to mix up another batch. I also made a vase at the same time as I was making these, which was an utter failure, by the way. So after I let them dry per the package instructions, it's really easy just to crack the plaster off of these booties in case you're like me and got it absolutely everywhere. You can see here, watch, boop, now I'm done. I'm ready. <laughs> so I was playing with these and you know, kind of, I always do my drop test to make sure something is sturdy. And then I grabbed the pool noodle known that I just made this little elf. And I have to tell you, you see how it kind of wobbles a little bit? That is with just rocks in the actual booty part, not in the front as well. And so I will say they're about the same weight. But these, these are amazing. These are much heavier. They're much bigger. You have much more front room and weight distributed in the front that allows you to really get a tall gnome very, very sturdy. Again, I'll show you the Santa cone gnome that I made with this, but you can see here, there's the erasers on the bottom. These do not slip out. When I show you the larger molds that I made and the system I made to make very large uh, plaster shoes like this, you do have to add a wire, but on these little ones, they don't come out with a, you know, you can pull them, you can drop them. But this is my favorite set of gnome shoe bases. They are quick, they are easy, and honestly, the plaster does all the work for you. You can also put concrete into these molds as well. You're just gonna have to do a little bit more cleanup on the, on the top. 
Speaking of cleanup, I'm just using a silicone, or because it's a silicone mold, you just have to pop it off. You can also wash it with a little soap and water. And then you just take your silicone mat, fold it up, and just dump all this into the trash. So that's it for me today in this five minute video. What do you think about this gnome base? Again, I'll share the Santa soon. As always, I sincerely appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.